Hi, dear friends, cultural creatives and seekers everywhere. Bruce here for a very interesting story this month. Well, the other day I was going through my toy box and guess what I found? Something I hadn't seen for a long, long time. My wonderful, wonderful Etch-A-Sketch. Now, many of you may have had this when you were young as well, but I really loved it. You know why? It gave you an opportunity to make a drawing on the screen by turning these dials down here. And then after you complete the drawing, you can then shake it up and the drawing will disappear and you can make another drawing. So it was like a reusable pen and paper. Well, just shake it and make a new one. So here, let's take a look at how you do it. And I'll try it. It's been a long time since I've done it, but uh, let me work at it. Here's how it works. So, well, you can see I'm a little out of practice on it, but here's the beautiful part. Here's a drawing that I just made, and I created this image and then manifested it on the screen of the Etch-A-Sketch. So what's really interesting is what I can do is now shake up this screen and erase the image, and then I can create another one. Perhaps this one is gonna be a little better than the last one. Let's see what I can do this time. Well, what a great picture, but what we can do is just shake it up and... Oh! 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 What the hell is going on behind me? What? Oh my God! The world is collapsing! So why is this relevant? Because there's a lot we can learn about evolution through an Etch-A-Sketch. Wow, what we're experiencing right now is a process called evolution. Well, it's not the evolution we learned in school, the Darwin version. That's the kind of evolution that says evolution has gradual changes over billions of years, imperceptible, but over a long time, you see an outcome that's different. In contrast to the old version of evolution, the gradualism version, there's a new understanding of evolution called punctuated equilibrium. Uh, this is a theory that was devised by Stephen Jay Gould and Niles Eldridge. And what did they recognize is that when looking for fossils, there were different layers where fossils of animals that no longer exist. And then there's like a space. And then there's another layer with fossils of animals that no longer exist. And then another space. And they said, well, there's something going on. There's a development a punctuation, another development, and a punctuation. The punctuations are natural events that destroyed the nature and the web of life at that time. And in fact, the last one of these mass extinctions is attributed to a giant comet that hit near the Yucatan Peninsula and upended the web of life. And at that last extinction, 66 million years ago, remember before the comet hit, the planet was filled with lush tropical forests and dinosaurs. After the comet hit, they don't exist anymore. The strata that we see in the fossils is really the same story as we see in the Etch-A-Sketch. The strata means that something happened, there was a picture, then the picture changed, and a new picture formed on the next strata. And then that picture changed. The understanding about the nature of the Etch-A-Sketch and what's actually going on in our world right now are really the same story. We've created an image, it's not sustainable, and, and the Etch-A-Sketch is shaking, but the planet is shaking. The planet is telling us that civilization you have created is no longer sustainable, and it's time for us to create a more thrivable situation for us to move into the future. There's an old saying, there's no such thing as a new story. Well, in fact, interesting point, we can go back a thousand years and start to recognize that the Buddhists were telling us the same story in a different fashion. They were making what are called sand mandalas. And these are very ornate creations from different sands, instead of paint, different sand, creating a structure and then making this most beautiful structure. And they also recognize, just like the universe is, things don't always stay the same. So after they create this most beautiful expression, then they take all the sand and scoop it all together, make a big pile and start all over again for another image. Just as in the story with the mandala and the same story in the Etch-A-Sketch and the same story that we're experiencing on this planet right now, there's a very important point that says that we can move into the future, but take with us what we learned from the past to build a better future, to thrive into that future. And this is where we are right now. Shaking it up so that civilization come together in a new version with love, harmony, and peace.
while we're in this state of chaos, it's a very important point about you, the observer of what I've just been talking about. I go, why is this important? Because you represent cultural creatives. You are the people that are looking for answers to how to get into the future from the destruction we're facing right now. And the answers are not in the box. So just by even watching what we're talking about right here is the idea to give you the insight of how powerful you are in creating the new future. Your participation is involved in this evolution. This is not a passive event you sit at home and wait for evolution. This is where we go out and manifest evolution. And just like in the story, the edge sketch you can put your hands on the dial and start to create a new image as well. And so collectively, when we all work together, the new image is a new civilization, one that can take us from today into a future. This is the moment of manifesting a new civilization, not just for the people, but for Mother Nature herself. And this is our opportunity to participate in conscious evolution.